Prosecutors presented evidence that one of two illegal immigrants accused of kid killing, murdering a 12-year-old was a flight risk. Today, Johan Jose Martinez Rangel received a $10 million bond for the murder of Jocelyn Nungary. He'll have to stay in jail on that. It's the same bond his alleged accomplice got yesterday. The men are accused of trying up to tying up the 12-year-old, throwing her in a bayou in North Houston. Amelia Jones is in studio tonight with the update on this case. Amelia. Steve, reporters who were in the courtroom this morning said things were emotional as the family of the 12-year-old victim faced one of her alleged killers. Family members called the suspect a murderer and even expressed angry remarks such as, I hope they kill your children. Inside a Harris County courtroom Tuesday morning, 22-year-old Johan Jose Martinez Rangel made his initial court appearance. The father of two is charged with capital murder for the death of 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungary. This will be a very emotional case for us as prosecutors as well as the family. Lead prosecutor Megan Long says investigators found evidence on Martinez Rangel's cell phone that he was searching for ways to leave the country. The judge considered him a flight risk and set his bond at $10 million. This is the same bond that was set for the other suspect charged with capital murder in this case, 26-year-old Franklin Pena. Long says both men illegally crossed the border from Venezuela earlier this year. Both were apprehended by U.S. Border Patrol and released with notices to reappear. It's our understanding that they met each other on their way up here to the United States and then it became reconnected once they got here. Houston police say the two men were seen on surveillance video with Nungary. The three are captured going to a convenience store and then walking to a bridge in North Houston. On June 17th, the 12-year-old's body was found in the creek under the bridge. Police say she died from strangulation. According to prosecutors, Pena admitted he kissed Nungary, but he said it was Martinez Rangel who tied her up and it was his idea to throw her in the bayou to get rid of any DNA evidence. Long says Martinez Rangel also had injuries at the time of his arrest. That's correct. At his arrest, he had a bite mark on his arm and scratch marks on his arm, arms. And um, he did say that he did tie her up and that he suggested that they throw her into Bayou to get rid of any DNA. Right now, the case isn't eligible for the death penalty, but that could change if the state finds evidence of kidnapping or sexual assault. Charges are just the start. Um, this case is still young and the investigation is continuing every day. And as we gather more evidence, the charges could change. Investigators are still waiting on the results of a sexual assault exam. Although both sus suspects were given bond, they weren't or they wouldn't leave custody because they're both under an ice hold. Long said that investigators are also looking into whether either suspect has gang affiliation in Venezuela.